Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial and in this video we're going to learn how to use the subdivision modifier within scripting in Blender. So that's kinda cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, click on scripting and click on new and if you haven't seen some of the beginner tutorials that I've created or just beginner Python and Blender tutorials you should maybe do that to import we need, or we need to import the BPY which is the Blender Python files. Also, make sure that I I just can't stand not having numbers and colors. It helps out so much. So let's do bpy dot ops dot object. And now, right now, what I'm going to do is I am selecting all, and I am going to delete it. Uh, this is especially good as we. Um, as we create objects, we don't have a lot of objects being created over each other, and so we can just see it all. Um, ultimately, it doesn't create multiple objects in the same spot, which that we just won't notice later. Make sure we run that; it works. We spelled everything correctly. Now let's do bpy.ops.mesh. Primitive cube add. So now that will create a default shaped cube right there in the middle. I'm going to zoom in up here so you can see it easier. Now let's add our modifier to it. It's actually fairly easy. We just go to the modifier tab and click it, right? Oh yeah, that's not what we're doing in this tutorial. Uh, if we want to actually add subdivision surface in scripting, which can be really cool for autonomous things, things that we just click a button and they all happen sequentially or however we want it to do it, we can. And with subdivision surface, we would just call that by typing uh, bpy.ops.object.modifier underscore add type equals subsurf. And you can see that all right there in the kind of grayed out looking thing, grayed out text right there. So uh, this actually becomes pretty easy because we're using the same uh, classes as some of the other ones like bpy.ops. And then we just reference object and then dot modifier add. So let's do bpy.ops.object dot modifier add. And it was the, let's make sure if we type it all correctly, type equals subsurf. Also, something else to know is whether you do this kind or this kind, I don't think it really matters a whole ton in Python. There is a difference um, in many other languages. One means character and one means string. However, I I could be wrong, but I don't actually think that Python is sensitive to that. So we can use either one we want. So I'm going to type in subdivision. It is, however, case sensitive, so make sure that is correct. Oh, it's subsurf, not subdivision. Subsurf. Sweet. Now let's just run it. Sweet, it works. Now, uh, next thing we want to do, let's just say we want to edit some of these settings. Let's go highlight over one of them that we want to look at. And we can see that we just referenced, oops, I can't go over to it. We can just reference the cube and then reference modifiers subdivision.levels. So, same difference. We're just going to be using bpy.data instead. .data .objects, and it is the. Let's find out actually what object it is. Bpy. We can actually just go back over there and hover again. But this is something good to get used to. We can look at what objects there are. Uh, we could probably just reference at zero. So actually, let's just do that. It's easier. We could just type out cube there, but zero is probably easier. So let's just do zero. And then do dot modifiers. Is that correct? Yeah, modifiers and then subdivision levels. And you can also just type in dot modifiers here. And we want to do sub division. I'm butchering the 
this. Yeah, okay, so it needs to be like this. Sub division. Sweet. So it, it accepts it. We can just use subdivision now. Uh, you actually don't have to go down here and type that in if you don't want to. That's completely fine. Uh, but we're just going to type in levels. And if we were to actually type this in here, we would actually get a number. This is equal to 1, which is this number. So now we're going to change this number to, well, I don't know, what do we want to change it to? Let's set it equal to 3. Now if we run this script, it should, and it does, change our subdivision levels to 3. Sweet. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you can see some of the power within subdivision within uh, scripting, and that has given you some good ideas. Good luck with your Blender projects, and I hope to see you next time.